Hello, uh, this is uh, video one of four of the uh, nutrition questions I got um, from posting last week. Uh, so the first question is cheese. Um, not a traditional nutrition question, um, but uh, to elaborate about cheese, I like cheese. Cheese is great. Um, one of the reasons why people generally try to avoid cheese, and you know they they have that thing in their mind that they love cheese, but you know they they start to not sort of have very much, is because there's that idea again of like sort of avoiding fats. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about cheese, but then I'll sort of get into um, actually what we get from fat and uh, sort of how much fat to have, because I know that's what a lot of people are sort of interested in as well. Um, so. Cheese Cheese in general, um, I do consume quite a lot of cheese. Anyone that knows me personally knows that I am a, a sucker for goat's cheese. Uh, one of the main reasons why I prefer goat's cheese uh, to others is because uh, obviously it depends about the um, uh, sort of the variety. But a lot of the time, goat's cheese is actually sort of a higher protein uh, and it's uh, sort of less like sort of carbohydrate. Um, also, I find that, well, sorry, I've found over the last couple of years that um, goat's variety of, uh, sort of dairy stuff actually sits a lot better in my stomach. So I switched over to goat's milk quite a few years ago and I've never looked back. I really, really will notice it if I um, have some sort of a food source that is like sort of normal milk. Um, so I try and stick to sort of also like goat's variety of stuff as well, apart from butter, which seems to like. Yes, the sort of like quantities doesn't really seem to bother me particularly. Um, so my favourite type of goat's cheese is again sort of the uh, the hard varieties because again they usually are sort of the uh, the highest sort of protein sort of content. Um, and halloumi just because guys it's halloumi it's just delicious. Um, ah, sorry about that. Uh, got slightly cut off. So again I feel I've talked enough about cheese in general. Uh, I'll start talking about my other types of uh, fat sources that I have in my diet most of the time. So um, I'm a big fan of greens. I'm a big fan of salads. Um, so in my salads I have avocado uh, which is pretty nice split between sort of protein fats and carbohydrates. Um, another thing I have a lot in my salads is Olive oil. Uh, the reason why I like to get these things in it because one thing it makes just huge amounts of greens taste more like sort of palatable uh, and makes them more likely to sort of like go through them. And again, I really like to try and get as much sort of greens in myself as possible, just from a health perspective, uh, more than sort of like a, if it meets your macros, sort of like um, sort of like physique perspective. Um, also, there has been some stuff that says that taking in fats alongside with uh, sort of vegetables actually improves the uptake of vitamins and minerals from that as well. So get extra bang for your buck, which is pretty cool. Uh, something that I use in my cooking most of the time is uh, coconut oil. Um, and I don't know where I got this from, but I think it's a really good quality one. Um, I don't think I paid very much for it. Oh, yeah, we sell it here. Um, uh, other things I use for, again, in my cooking uh, is um, sort of the butter. I try and stick to um, uh, grass-fed butter like, as much as possible, um, simply because of the uh, difference between sort of omega threes and omega sixes. Um, we within our diet a lot of time, especially when we're getting sort of like, high fat foods in there, it's usually predominantly sort of like, omega sixes, and it's harder to get those omega threes in. Um, it just uh, generally speaking, like uh, causes like, inflammation, um, which we want to try and avoid, especially if we're doing a lot of um, vigorous exercise. Uh, the more inflamed you are, the more chance of injury. Um, Loads of sort of carry on stuff from that. Uh, something that um, Josh will be pretty familiar with is uh, hummus. Uh, I have that in my uh, food quite a lot as well. It's just a nice way to get um, sort of fats in. So fat. What do we want from fat? So how many sort of like fats are we getting in? So one of the main reasons why we say to people to get fats in is because they are good for you. Um, so the human body is a massive hormone engine, pretty much everything in the body runs off hormones uh, and the thing that allows you to build out from those building blocks of uh, hormones is uh, fats. So fats are really, really important for us uh, to, to be getting in and a lot of time people sort of avoid them. This can be improving things like your, your, your skin, your hair, you get that. Uh, super luscious locks is that what we're looking for. Um, you really probably will actually notice it feel, makes you feel like a lot better to be getting sort of fat in. And this is like all types of fats um, apart from trans fats, which more and more nowadays you're sort of like struggling to find unless it's in, you know, really like heavily like refined oils. Um, another reason why we're looking to get sort of fats in is if you're very aware that you're under calories at the moment. So uh, a lot of people I speak to, like in the uh, nutrition consults, 
Um, they're actually just not eating enough, and they're wondering why the weight is, uh, you know, not coming off, and just because they're under eating, the body's gone into starvation mode. Um, a lot of these people feel that they're eating enough as well, and they're struggling to get more food in. Well, one of the special things about fats, and one of the reasons why people have avoided them, is because they are higher in calories. So, um, per gram of uh, protein and carbohydrate, you're looking at about four calories per gram. Uh, for fat. Um, you're looking at nine calories per gram. Um, so you can eat less like, you know, quantity and it's actually going to be sort of giving you that body all those nutrients that you actually need. Um, so you probably should feel less full from it, but you can get more in. Um, so that's a good thing. Uh, also, um, sort of we're talking about sort of like quantities in like sort of percentage terms as well. So unless I'm knowing exactly what the person uh, like body weight and sort of activity levels, I wouldn't like to really sort of recommend uh, sort of grammage of these uh, different amounts. Uh, but we can talk like generally percentages. So normally speaking, I like to get people like onto a generally higher protein. Um, that's sitting anywhere between 35 uh, to 55 uh, percent like in their diet. The carbs and uh, proteins, that's something that's gonna be a lot more variable. Generally, everyone needs a lot more sort of protein in their diet, but um, the carbohydrates and fats, that's gonna be very specific to you, and that's gonna be something that you'd have to work with your coach um, or a lot of experimentation by yourself to figure out what you actually need for you specifically. So it's a lot of trial and error. Um, hopefully that was vaguely interesting, guys. Um, I've overrun a time a bit. I'll start going through the rest of the questions in the next couple of days.